here with the newest commit for the Kansas State 2020 class, junior college, big man, Carlton Lingard out of Temple Junior College, coming in immediately eligible as a sophomore next season. How you doing, Carlton? Thanks for joining us. I'm good. I'm doing real good. So, yeah, I mean, first, just take me through the, the offer, the commitment, the whole relationship with K-State, which coaches you talked with, and uh, just your, your experience with that. Um, well, in the beginning, I want to say K-State was – it was probably the first, like, big school to talk with me. Um, they've always been consistent and always been – they've always showed love towards me. Um, it started off with Coach Corn uh, at some preseason tournaments, and then um, Coach Weber got into the picture not to – it was it was it came in kind of early too also, and they've always both been there and they uh, started a relationship with me and just went on from there. So you've lived in uh, Texas pretty much your whole life, is that correct, or, or have you uh, moved around? So uh, I moved from South Carolina. I moved there my first. I moved to Texas for high school basically. I moved here my freshman year. Cool. So, what was uh, what was basketball like growing up? Um, you said where was it? What was, you said where South was Carolina. It? South Carolina. Yeah. What was that yeah. like? I mean, it was it was competitive. It was it's it's tough down there too. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I've always been around basketball, but I I've always played AAU down in South Carolina, but I didn't get to play middle school basketball. So, like, I just went straight to high school basketball. So. Cool, cool. So I guess uh, we've talked about it before, but I guess if you could just tell tell people on here um, why you chose the JUCO route um, and just the process of how that went and what that competition was like as well. Well, at the time, I didn't really have um, – I didn't have any options. But um, since I committed, then I, then I got like um, – I got like two D1 offers basically. So, um, I mean, that was after my commitment, and I just felt like Temple was the best option for me. I was already committed, and I already gave Coach my word that I was going to be there. And I just – and I'm glad that I stick with that because, I mean, it, it came out to – I mean, it's what it is today now. I'm, I'm doing good. So, um, I, it was just the best option for me at the time. And then your recruitment uh, while you were at – Temple, um, you obviously had K-State in the mix with Texas A&M, Arizona State, some other schools. Talk about some of those other schools that came in uh, close to K-State near the end, but why why did K-State come out on top? Uh, it, it came down to um, – it came down to Tulsa, ASU, and A&M. Mm -hmm. And I want to well, – there was a couple of other schools too, but those were mainly like the top ones. But um, it just – a lot went on with the coronavirus. Like, a lot of uh, just spots being filled and um, just a lot happening. And just to have K-State and, and the coaching staff being consistent and showing me that – or, like, how I would be uh, played and how everything would work out. I mean, it just – it just felt right. It felt like – I mean, it was a want, so that's – the main reason why I came. For sure. So it started with uh, Coach Corn. Um, he's yeah. the one that first started recruiting you. Um, and then Coach Weber really took the reins right after that, keeping in contact with you. I mean, what do you think yeah. of the whole staff as a whole? I mean, they. I mean, they've always showed love. I feel like well, I've, I've met the. Whole, I met almost everyone on staff, and they seem like really good people. Um, seems like a family, which is big to me, and. Uh, just to have them consistent and just to have them there. I mean, it just feels really good. What uh, what was the challenges, you know, with this coronavirus stuff going on, not being able to visit campuses? How did that affect your recruitment at all? It, it kind of it messed it up. Yeah. But um, I, I did a lot of virtual tours and um, got a lot of links to uh, things around campus and mm -hmm. the city and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's – it wasn't it wasn't a for sure deal cuz i didn't see it in person i didn't see everything but um i mean i had had to make a decision 
uh, I made the right one, and I mean that's what it is as of now. I c- I couldn't control that, yeah. so yeah, what it's you kind of bad. Yeah, I mean it's 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 a tough time for you know the world yeah. really. But what have you been doing in the meantime to stay busy? Maybe try to keep your your skills intact. Uh, I've been. I mean, I mean, I've just been doing schoolwork late at night. Well, not late at night, but like the sun goes down, I go running, get back home, do some home workouts and stuff. And uh, I've recently just started uh, playing basketball again because of um, the courts were shut down and the gyms were closed. So it was, I didn't have a goal, but um, I tried to stay like in the mix with a basketball or something like that. But um, I'll say this, this past week I've been hooping, going outside and trying to do my best to do that. And uh, I mean, I know you just recently committed to K State, but have you uh, spoken with some of the, the your 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 new to be teammates that you're gonna have at K State? And uh, what do you like about them and some of the guys? Oh that yeah. Doing? Uh, first day, first day, I, I got to talk to a lot of them. Um, they brought me in. It feels like a family. It feels like people I can get along with. Um, it was just it was just good vibes from everyone and. Everyone's work. Everyone's working. Like they're, they're trying to get better and stuff like that. Yeah. So just to be able to surround myself with people like that is is really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess w- tell me about your game a little bit. Like what what do you like to do on the floor? Um, where do you like to score? Where, where where's your best? I mean, obviously you're a great shot blocker. You were at the JUCO level, so you like to yeah. you know defend down low. Just talk about your game as a whole. Um. I mean, I, growing up, I've always been. The, a shooter. I always wanted to, to shoot the ball. Like that was just my thing. So I mean, just working on my shot. Mm-hmm. Like whenever I go to the gym, it's six percent of the time working on my shot. And um, I say as a senior year and last year, my freshman year of college, I started to uh, try and get inside more, um, which is, it has worked. Um, also defensively, I just it's just I'm just more sound, putting more effort into it, trying to do my best, and which it worked out for me this year. Cause um, I wouldn't say I was much of a defensive presence in high school, but yeah. as of this past year, I've I've shown that I am, which is I mean that's good, and I, I can I'm only going to continue to get better at that. So yeah, yeah, and then um, what do you think? Uh... What do you think um, going into – oh, yeah, your weaknesses and strengths. Tell me, like, on the floor what your weak strengths, strengths and weaknesses are, if you can pinpoint a few or one or two. Uh, I do the weaknesses first. Um, weaknesses are – it's just, as of now, my size. I can, I can use to my advantage, but I also have a disadvantage with the weight, mm-hmm. which is, um, like, playing against – taller and bigger people I have to like adjust more and not to it take it takes me a little bit to figure out how to adjust but once I do that I'll be good but um that's what my weaknesses and just being like to I I can it's, it's times where I'll pass the ball a bit too much mm-hmm. when I need to it, it's times where I'm supposed to go score and I'll pass out of it it's just it's it, my, I'm inconsistent with yeah. that, so um, I just I just have to get better at that. And with the strengths, I'll say strength passing is one of my strengths too, because I I mean I have good vision on the court, and um, just to I know when to score. So whenever whenever I get the ball. I feel it's a one-on-one. That's what I'm going to take it. I'm going to take advantage of either my my height, quickness, or something like that. So just taking advantage of stuff like that is one of my strengths too. So you uh, yesterday you were on some Zoom calls with the staff and the team and stuff like that. Is that right? Yes, well, sir. Take me through what, what those are like with coach and stuff. Being, I mean, obviously this, that's the only way you can really contact with them at the at the moment, seeing them face to face. Like, how has that been? Um, I mean, it's been pretty, I mean, it's a lot of information for me, Mm -hmm. a lot of information about the school, the staff. I was really just getting to meet the staff yesterday. Yeah. And then, and it seems like it's a place where I can develop, um, a lot 
and um it just it felt it felt good to be a part of something like that I, that's yeah. just the first time i've ever a part of something so big so it feels good to be tied in with everything yeah what did they tell you specifically like what they want to see uh from you uh the chat the the call wasn't specifically for me it was for like okay. the whole team uh-huh but like as of overall what coach wants to see on the court is that what you're asking yeah yeah just on the court yeah uh, well just just being like a defensive presence um being just playing my game mm-hmm. and which if that's shooting if that's shooting or is that playing with my back to the basket or is it whatever it's just whatever he just wants me to play my game and just to just to make an impact on the court yeah did uh did they tell you about um ben o'donnell and i mean uh, the, the guys that they get the uh, you talked about your body you need to you know get a little bigger in the weight room and stuff yeah they tell you about ben o'donnell and how he works out some of these guys yeah so i've seen uh videos and stuff about him i i can't <laughs> wait to get there it's gonna be hard but i mean i can't wait to do it that's right man so yeah k-state fans are excited about you i get last thing i got for you is anything you want to tell the fans um just i mean obviously they're super excited about you and this whole class coming in to play next year i mean i'm just happy to be a wildcat that's all i gotta say man i I wake up every day just blessed and happy that made the right decision and just i'm just ready to come to manhattan and do my thing and get better and develop and just who I'm just ready for it. Newly committed Juco big man Carlton Lingard on K State Online. He'll be a sophomore next year, immediately eligible for the Wildcats. So thank you for your time, Carlton. I appreciate it. No problem. And take it easy, man. All right, you too.